Today on Renovation Nation, a power generating windmill needs some major power toys to put it together. Do you like to do psychological testing before you turn somebody loose in this? We have an idea. We can tell. <laughs> so why don't you get out of it? <laughs> then, an old familiar product makes a comeback as a green alternative. Old-fashioned linoleum. It's a natural linseed oil and jute. You know, the linseed oil has a natural antimicrobial property, and it's just it's such a perfect product. And a business that salvages wood, any wood, and turns it into one-of-a-kind furniture. The furniture we build, I feel, is archival. It's going to be around for 200, 300 years. Our nation has a challenge. How do we renovate our homes in a way that's in sync with the planet? I'm Steve Thomas, and together we'll find the answers on Renovation Nation. Coming up, turning salvaged wood into beautiful furniture with an endless supply of resources. I've been at this so long that a day doesn't go by that the phone doesn't ring with people saying, hey, there's a dumpster out in front of Mrs. Schultz's house. Have you seen it? And of course, they'll be tearing floors out or somebody else will call and say, I'm at a yard sale and there's such and such. So it comes in from everywhere. We're 17 miles southwest of Boston in the small town of Plainville, Massachusetts. Home to a company that turns reclaimed vintage wood into one-of-a-kind furniture. Stephen Stables and his wife Chris started their handcrafted wood furniture business 35 years ago. The couple is fascinated with vintage wood, so when they noticed a growing supply of old boards headed to landfills, they knew they had to come up with a way to recycle them. So Stephen began making furniture out of the repurposed wood and found that he wasn't only saving trees and reducing the waste going in the landfills, but was also meeting a sizable demand from people who wanted to buy his long-lasting, environmentally friendly furniture. One day I had an old door and I put it on top of a table and it sold three times as fast as anything we'd ever made. And I said, gee, that was different. So we put another door on a table, and that one went. And then while that one sold, there were three people that said, if those people don't take it, can I have it? So that started us to say, gee, this, this old wood is, is pretty special. The demand for his furniture has only increased. With the manufacture of new, mass-produced furniture having moved largely to factories overseas, Stevens reclaimed furniture as a smart green alternative. We build art furniture all out of wood that's at least 100 years old and older, some 250 year old wood. Today, Stephen will use everything from old wooden doors to floorboards in his furniture. It starts with a typical salvage process. Steve, we'll get the, a couple of doors. This one I want to be careful of because this got a, the wood is really pretty. So all right. try to put that one right inside. I've been at this so long that a day doesn't go by that the phone doesn't ring two or three times with people saying, hey, there's a dumpster out in front of Mrs. Schultz's house. Have you seen it? And of course, they'll be tearing floors out or somebody else will call and say, I'm at a yard sale and there's such and such. So it comes in from everywhere. After denailing the salvaged wood, a sanding sponge is used to remove the decades of dirt and get down to the wood's original surface. Then Stephen assesses the quality of the wood and determines how we'll use it. Now this one's got the this in it that I was saying before we could use for something else. We could put right. this into a into a table. And you don't have got six feet. So either you can get a six foot table out of it or leave it for me and All right. I'll, I'll use it in a um, on a server. Right. Seven, seven, two. So now we'll walk it down to the radio alarm so I will look up the Stephen decides to use these boards to make a farm table. They're then cut to size and run through a jointer to give them a straight edge. And then we're going to take them and lay them and show you how we're going to build a 40-inch table. We'll take this, this one, that one, and one from this will give us 40 inches by 7 foot. Next, the boards are lined up and half-moon shaped cuts are made in the edges with a biscuit jointer. Glue is applied and wafer-thin pieces of preformed wood called biscuits are inserted. Lastly, the whole thing is clamped together with pipe clamps for a strong and perfect fit.
While the glue sets, Stephen begins to work on the legs. With one leg completed, he turns this vantage beam into the next table leg. Once all four legs are complete, it's back to the tabletop with a spoke shave to restore its rustic worn look. Then the legs and frame are assembled to create a finished product. The last step is to apply a linseed oil finish, which will absorb into the wood. You never ever have to refinish one of our pieces. All you have to do is give it a drink, a finish that we put on it. You can maintain them, and they should last a lifetime. These furniture pieces made out of recycled wood are a long-term investment. The furniture we build, I feel, is archival. It's going to be around for 200, 300 years. Uh, I sign every piece, uh, every piece is dated. Even if I build two pieces that are the same in measurement, they're different. Even if it's the same species of wood, they're different. Stephen Staples and his wife, Chris, were looking for ways to recycle beautiful old lumber that would normally end up in a landfill. They found their answer by creating recycled wood furniture that could literally last for centuries. To buy one of our pieces is almost like buying a painting or a nice piece of pottery. The benefits are you're getting something you're going to have forever. It's great meeting all these people all over the country building and renovating green, and I'm proud to be part of it. We'll see you next time on Renovation Nation.